Ah, now it's fixed. What's up? So I had the wrong camera, wrong uh, microphone input. So let's make a uh, Neo Gothic tree house. So I want to do a couple, actually a couple of cool things here, a couple of cool tricks. One of them that I actually just found out like two days ago. I'm like, what the fuck? Why didn't no one tell me that before? But now I know, so now I can share that awesome secret. So let's uh, let's start with the tree, right? So I want to start with a block out first. I'm gonna what I want to do is right. I want to create a huge tree, and then I want to like a small house inside that tree. So I want to make it as epic as possible. So the first thing I kind of want to know is how big should my tree be? It's probably gonna be huge. Like this huge, and then in here I want to make my house probably like huge-ish, like a small house like this. I think that would be cool. Maybe a little bigger. And again, I'm just figuring out the shape, right? So the sizes of my buildings here. I think this will be okay. And what I kind of want to do here though is like have a balcony, like here maybe. Each don't look at the size though, like maybe the balcony there and some other stuff around it. So I just want to make something that looks really epic. So I'm gonna actually combine this so I can hide this. Let's call this the block out. Caps lock because then it's actually true. So block out. Awesome. And I, I'm gonna hide it. So the first thing I want to do right is I want to create the actual shape of my tree. So I'm gonna make a curve for that. So I'm gonna start here in my top view for this one. And this time I'm gonna create a EPC, EP curve tool, which is a mouthful, but it's just a curve, right? So in this case, I'm gonna drag it here. Maybe I wanna get like a spiral effect going on. Cause I would think that will be look, that will probably look really cool. So I'm gonna make the actual spiral. Something like that, it's fine. It's still on the ground, of course, so I need to grab them all. I'm gonna push them up. Everything but that one, and then she's gonna emphasize that one and that one. So it's higher. Might be a little bit too wide, probably. <laughs> okay, it's a huge tree. I'm gonna get a little bit smaller here. And probably here. This is just gonna be the base, right, of my actual tree. On which I can curve my tree around, so maybe something like this. That's kind of cool, and then grab the stair. Yeah, it's way too wide. Maybe a little tweaking here and there. Grab that one. Maybe this one a little lower. We can get a point here. That's kind of cool. It's a little bit weird. Cool. Let's use this as a base right, from which we can extrude. So I'm gonna make a silver here. Put it on the ground. Uh, a little bit higher. I don't care about the, the height of it at, at the moment because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna extrude it on that actual curve. Hello, feel right. Yeah, seven even. So I'm gonna extrude this base on the curve, right? So I don't really care about the thickness. If I want, I can even delete these. I'm gonna do that just that actually. So I don't need them. There we go, that's better. Grab my faces and then my curve here. I'm gonna hit extrude. Boom. Add more divisions so it's actually gonna fall it around. And now there's a cool trick here that you should know. Good evening. So the extrude right, actually has more settings than people know. So people just look at this like, yeah, these are my settings for my extrusion, but there are more, right? So in your channel box, you can go here as well. There's a taper effect that you can actually use to create a little bit more of a curvature, which I think is actually really awesome. You can even add a twist here as well. So you can even, even make it twist. It's magic, I know it's magic. I think it's a little bit too wide though. It looks more like a tentacle right now. So I'm gonna undo this for a second. Okay, and make it a little bit less thick. A little bit thinner because that was way too thick. I mean, it's it's a tree, right? Nothing else. So I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna do this again. Subdivisions here, and that's a little bit better. And again, taper effect here. Taper just, just push it all the way down to zero, so you get like a uh, just pointy edge. And then I'm gonna make it a little bit of twist here, so I can actually actually use that again later on. 
to create this nice like groove around the tree, which I think will look pretty. Actually, not that bad. Okay, I'm gonna keep this. So I'm gonna freeze transfer so or delete my history, so it's looks like fixed. I'm gonna grab my curve boy here, that one. If I can, there it is. I'm gonna like rotate it so I can create like a spiraling tree effect. So I think that would actually look really cool. So you got a little bit more like a um, dead space effect here, and then and later on I'm gonna actually combine them. But first I wanna grab something like this. I'm gonna duplicate this. I'm gonna delete every face except for the bottom row. Cool trick here as well. It's a shift and greater than sign. That's uh, uh, to do like this. So it's shift plus this one here to actually increase your your selection and uh, shift plus hope you can read this even that one is to make your or shrink your selection it's really helpful or stuff like this i'm gonna make it a little bigger here one more so it's just the faces again extrude same thing just, just like a little, little bit of the other time here extrude again 25 taper zero twist it around as well there we go continue so, th so the normals are flipped here that's okay i'm gonna just invert my normal reverse so bl um, black means that the normals are inverted in this case though by just doing that i can just put them back okay i don't really like this so i'm gonna undo this a little bit what i can do is i want to change my shape here so control uh, the control vertex is just the points right that you can use so I'm going to modify the actual spline here a little bit to make it a little bit more closer to the actual main spine. I don't know what, what, what we should call it, but uh, let's do it like this. And the cool thing about using just a spline right, is that you actually get a lot of control over your shapes that you want to create. So I want it a little bit more closer here. I kind of want like these two points here to actually uh, hug each other because they are BFFs. Maybe something like this, a little bit closer. Also just makes it a little more organic, I suppose. Grab these. Hmm. Again, so there should be a face here that I can't see. That one. Extrude divisions, that's better. Taper, twist again. Black means it's that the, the normals are just inverted, right? So if you just want to fix that, mesh display, reverse, and hop. They are now back. I kind of like this. It's not perfect yet though, but we are getting somewhere. So in this case, what I kind of want to do is like pause it a little bit more. So I'm going to show you a different tool that's actually pretty awesome. It's called the sculpting tool. It's actually really helpful. And it gives you the option to sculpt. That's why it's called the sculpting tool. But there's also one that's called the move tool. So move the thing, that one, yeah. So, Right now it's really big, but I can just move it around, you see? I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller, hold, holding B and just dragging it here. Makes me, is this the move tool? This is the move tool. Pull single, single vertex, why am I so stupid now? Yeah, yeah that's fine. Just wanna grab a little bit here, just move it. Oof. Gently, all the rules, everything. Let's freeze. That's okay. A little bit more. Then what I kind of want to do is like combine these two into become like one one mesh at some point. Not right now though, but I will do that. So I kind of want to have one more tree thing here. If I can find my curve again, there it is. Nope, not at all. Nope, nope. I'm just gonna. Rotate it a little bit more because I kind of want to fill up this gap over here because I don't think I don't really like it. So in this case, I want to just go through here. Oh, oops, not too much. Like through that gap in between, I think that's kind of cool. Do 
to know what happened, but there it is. I am absolutely just 100% winning this. I have no concept at all. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just winning this to the extreme. But it should be fine, it should be fine. Wait, a little bit shorter. I mean, I, I've got a basic idea, right? What, what I kind of want to do here, uh, but not 100%. So I'm just 100% winging this. Well, 90% winging this. That makes sense. See, that's um, concept modeling, right? <laughs> okay, that's kind of cool. So I get a little bit more shape in here. I'm gonna do the same thing again, right? I'm gonna grab this one. I'm just gonna duplicate this. Let's isolate this for a second so I can see what I'm doing here. Again, if you use the shift plus greater than sign, you can increase the selection, delete them, boom. So the reason why it's flipping is because these the normals are inverted by default. So if I just flip these, again, oh, wrong one, reverse, then the extrusion will be okay as well. Let's call this three, three here so I can see what I'm doing again. Okay, let's find it. My outliner, there we go. And that one. And again, we extrude this bad boy. Again, the tape perfect. Twist it. That's cool. I think that actually looks pretty cool. Okay. Freeze transformations here. Also, oh, the history, I'm gonna freeze them as well. Uh, and what it does, right, freeze transformation, it just makes sure that, that the values are, are reset to zero. Of course, they can cause issues. Uh, when, you, when you're when you modeling stuff, it can cause issues. So, for example, if I just, let me just grab a duplicate here, you can see that, that all these values here are now not zero or one. And if you freeze transformations, that's exactly what they do. So keep it on here, it's boom, right? This will pre um, prevent issues, either with modeling or UVing when you get to that point, that will definitely cause issues. So that's why I'm doing it uh, right now. I kind of like this. So I said, right, I want to have a house here. So I think that can work actually. Like a small house here. And let's just soften edges here a little bit. Oh. Soften, soften. Okay. I want to have some roots in my thing over here. So I'm going to grab random vertices. Just going to grab a couple of them. Doesn't really matter which one. Let's do that. These. I'm just gonna scale it up a little bit. This is just for my reference, right? So I, I know where I want to have like roots at some point. Because um, I'm gonna show you a different trick here. Okay, this is kind of cool. I'm gonna actually delete the faces here. To face the faces. Ooh, be careful. There you go. And again, I'm just gonna. Oh, wait, wait. Same thing here. I kind of want to break up the perfect circle root because that looks super weird. I don't really like it, so I'm gonna see if I can fuck it up. Literally, I'm just gonna move this tool again. Get with the sculpt tool. I just grab some random vertices here. Just grab them. Then that's okay. And it's a bit hard to see, but it's now like grayed out, right? That means that we're actually sculpting it. It's just a sign from mine, like, hey, yeah, okay, you're actually editing this object, so be careful. That looks pretty okay for now. Let's save this real fast. And Neo Gothic Treehouse. There you go. So I kind of want to have more branches. So, I, and actually, what I'm going to do is it's the same method, exactly the same method. So, again, I'm going to make a curve here. What I want to do here though is that they flow from the tree on, if that makes sense. So it should start like, for example, here and then actually create like a curvature like this, for example. So it follows the, the natural shape of the actual uh, tree. I'm going to find the curve. Do I like the position there? Not really. Maybe a little bit more. Oh. Set the pivot this. Maybe something like this. Maybe a little bit like this. There you go. I'm just gonna get, gonna make a couple of them. I'm not gonna make like a hundred of them. Just wanna have a few. 
I use the same shape. I'm just going to duplicate this a couple of times. Uh huh. That's kind of cool. Maybe we can have one more here, a little bigger one. The few part. Yep. Yeah, there you go. And I just. I'm just making them now so I don't have to make them later on. That makes sense. Uh, let's do this one. No. No. There. Sure. It's also a little bit of experimenting, right? So it's in the pivot. And if you press D again, right? So D means that you take a change in the, the, the pivot point. I Like the pivot point. I don't know why they use those weird shortcuts, but. Then you can move it again. There you go. Cool. So I kind of want to have these uh, branches from my uh, actual tree mesh. So what I can do here is actually a really cool trick. So I need a little bit more vertices here. So I'm going to add here a loop. Connect. There we go. Looks OK. And I'm going to add one more in between. So we have enough vertices to work around. Then I'm going to grab my faces here. I'm going to grab these. What I can do here now is I can make a circular rise like this. That will actually turn it into a cylinder shape. And then I can just again extrude this. And now I can hit extrude again. Add enough divisions. And again taper this. Same thing that we did before. Taper. See and now it just it actually extrudes from my mesh itself. It's I didn't I didn't honestly know that, that this was a thing. So like like the other week I'm like what? That is so helpful. Make it a little bit different here. So circularized actually turns into a circle that you can then just extrude from or do stuff with. Try this again, that's better. I kind of want to be careful here with my shape here that it doesn't get too thick. Still will ruin it. I'm going to make a taper here again. Do we want to twist this? Ooh, we do. So and the reason why, right, I'll show you. So when you're when you're modeling, right, and especially for like games, um, you you want to be efficient. So what we do for a, for example, for a cylinder or a round shape like a tube, we always use an eight sided eight sided cylinder for that. So an eight sided cylinder like this, eight subdivisions, eight sided cylinder. So that that will actually look like it's actually round. So when I, for example, grab the, I'll show you. So if I delete this and now if I soften my edges here, that will actually look like a, like a tube rather than actually a round tube. Uh, it's like eight or 12 maximum, that'll be okay. So what you can do right now, if from this one, if if I want to extrude a cylinder from this, I can either just do it manually, right? I can grab all my vertices here and just push them down and scale up again. It's really kind of complicated. So what you can do instead is just grab these and my circular rise, which is a nice thing to say. You can also twist this as well. So you actually get a lot of freedom here. Make it bigger, make it smaller. This is actually a really, really cool trick. It's really awesome. So we now have got one branch here. Let's do one more. No, exactly not. No, what it just does, right? It, it just um, averages the face normals. So they look like they are blending uh, into each other. It doesn't change anything at all, actually. Let's do the same thing here. Actually, we have a curve here already, so I'm gonna just bevel this. Maybe a little bigger. I want, to be, I want the branch to be big. Again, I'm gonna grab four faces here, same method. Edit mesh, circularize. Grab my faces. I think I need to line this a little better though, but we'll see. Again, divisions. Ooh, that looks stupid. That looks stupid. I'm gonna grab this one. Let's actually have this one go up. Like that. And maybe... I'm just playing with the shapes here. There you go. What the fuck? <laughs> that was not supposed to happen. Let's try this again. Extrude. Much better. What? Oh, I stacked more faces than I should. 
definitely. The patience. That's better. Again, taper. <laughs> taper. Maybe some twist here again. I kind of like that. That looks kind of cool. Okay, let's do this one here. Um, probably gonna have the same issue here. I'll make sure there's a little bit more. If it was normal here, I'm gonna add some more loops. Connect. And connect. Again, added mesh, circularize, impossible to pronounce, but it's okay. Screw this bad boy. That's okay as well. Taper this. Let's, let's not add a twist here. I kind of need more branches still, I think I do. Let's grab my curve here. Don't want to add too many though, but I mean, for time's sake, otherwise, I mean, I, I could do this for like hours long, but I don't want to bore you guys to death at some point, which is going to happen if I keep adding branches. <laughs> let's grab this one here. Maybe. Let's flip this bad boy. Let's do the minus one. There we go. Mm hmm. Let's point this up even more. Let's rotate this. That's kind of cool. Okay, that can work. Okay, I can just bevel this one because it's close enough to my actual line here. And uh, let's do a little bit wider. Once, yeah, two segments. And, it's, and that just means that it's going to add an extra line in between. That's it. Circle, circle, that one. And divisions. Oof. Again, I selected face I should not have selected. I see. This is not really a um, standard tree, but it is a tree. And then you can add more branches on the branches. So I can just grab this one again, this line here. Just duplicate it, make it a lot smaller. Rotate this. Let's just do one branch here on the branch. I'm actually gonna put it in like in, in here at the bottom. So I'm, I'm gonna make space for that. And then I probably wanna have like a, um, so my, my house, is, house is gonna be small, right? My house is gonna be like this size. So when you, when you look down from it, you get this really epic tree that you can look up to. Maybe it's a little bit bigger here. Let's see what. And then maybe I can make more trees, more houses that I can just place somewhere else as well. So maybe I can also say I wanna have one, uh, let's say here, for example, as well. So you have more than, than one tree house but we'll see what we'll see first let me do one more branch here be before we're gonna branch out i'm sorry i'm not sorry that, that was a good pun that was a really good pun i can baffle this eh, it's too much my faces here a little bit mm -hmm. soft edge soft edge soft edge I like it it's pretty cool it's not perfect but it is it is getting there so I also want to have like branches right before actual roots so I'm gonna grab this one for a second I'm gonna delete this first here because this is really annoying me so I can do it a couple of ways uh, one way would be as well to model this a little bit better because right now it's a little bit thin so i'm going to show you a trick uh, first i need a loop here in between so 
right now I, my, my root is just a triangle that will never look good so I can do though is I'm gonna add here I'm gonna show you just don't be scared it's gonna be okay so this right now is an angle on right but I can just add a line here that turns it into a quad so this is now a quad because I have four vertices this one as well and by doing this I can a little bit more First is to play with, so I can make, give it a little bit more thickness. See? Just, has a, just give it a little bit more substance. Instead of just like this really weird. I probably need more loops here in, in the middle here as well, so I can shape it a little bit better. So I can grab my vertices, edges here. A little bit more. Like that. I can do the same thing here as well. Don't forget to save very often. And the one cut tool is, is, is the same as connect, but this is just manually. And there we go. Which is good. I mean, it doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, it's, it's a tool. And it, it doesn't matter if your hammer is purple or gold, it's just a tool designed for hammering stuff. So be it the connect tool or uh, multi tool or Maya or Blender, whatever. At the end of the day, it's just a tool to do stuff with, to make stuff with. Gonna need more loops here in a minute. It's a little bit wider. All right, you can see what this is a lot of work, but it does look a little bit better, right? You can see this root over here looks a little bit better than just a triangle. I probably need to like scale this down a little bit though. Make it a bit better. <laughs> Control Shift X, really? It is good point. Wow. Yeah. So I'm a I'm a uh, Max user. Uh, a uh, Fierce Mac user from like back in the days when my old job. And there it, it was a little bit easier. It was just C, and you, know, you could just cut. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna hit C, and then I can cut. Maya has this weird shortcuts for everything that, that you can break your hands with if, if you're not careful nice P okay let's do do we need more of that one no what I can do now so I'm gonna show you the other way which I think is a little bit easier uh-huh it's the same method right again you can just you can just draw a curve here or just um, let's do this one. This one I'm gonna do higher. That needs space. There we go. Uh, that one circularize. Yep. Then we're just gonna hold shift and take through this bad boy. Shrink it. The only thing that you want to be careful here is this looks really weird because you know, I mean, a root should like flow out of the tree and mine does not, it just, just starts from it so there's a nice, nice like gradient here. There we go, just gonna merge all these first together. Done. Then you can add a little bit more here, like a line here to get a little more, make it a little more special, special root. It does look pretty cool though, I have to say. Probably gonna need a lot more here, so I'm gonna grab like these faces, right? We don't see them. Do we see them? No, I'm gonna delete them. Yep. If you don't see it, delete it. Maybe a little bit higher. Nope. And let's grab, oh, let's make it a big one. Let's make it a big one, circularized, there we go. Sexy. 
and merge is just that it, it just merges the verses together gives you a little bit more uh, less stuff to do we're on house built in cut down yep correct that's that's still three hours I mean it it does depend on how far far you cut it down though if it's just a cylinder like this high and then it's just like this high and then you just cut it off you know and that's but is that a tree house is that a tree house not really so I would make it just make sure that it looks like a tree hence <laughs> the name I suppose but I'd, but you don't have to make like a full-fledged tree for the assignment now. cool I like this can I do it now? Current selection does not require what the fuck. Oof, wow. Oh, of course. That makes sense. I still have my lines going here as well. Do I want them? Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna group them. And groups are just a full, right? So it's a little bit easier. Curves and caps lock to make it true. There we go. Mesh display, soft edge. Perfect. Delete all my type history. There we go. Okay, cool. Let's do the house, right? And then we're gonna, at some point, we need to clean it up because right now we have a lot of faces here that you can't see. So that's probably, that's probably something, some other time that we're gonna do that. We're not gonna do it tonight. Let's do the house. So, what kind of house? How big? I kind of want to let me just give me just gonna experiment here for a second. Oh, house. That'd be cool though if it's there. Like sticks out like this. I think that'd be cool actually. Um, definitely separate parts. Definitely, uh, that, that's what I'm gonna do here as well. Definitely separate parts. Definitely. What I do right is my windows are probably separate, and then uh, then when I'm done, I combine everything. Uh, but but while you're modeling, just keep it separate. It's a lot easier to do, um, and it doesn't make you cry. So that's. This is still, tree. of course, this is it's a it's a tree height. So I'm gonna make. I mean, this is just my house, right? So I can see how big I I, I should actually make it, and so I can get an idea on how big it should be if this actually works. Uh, but I'm probably gonna add more though. But first, I need to get a sense of scale. So I'm gonna add a human. Human. Bipeds. Human body. There we go. Do zero point zero one centimeters. Okay. Okay. I should make everything a lot bigger, right? Now you can see. But this is a, a, a default human. It's it's literally the size of my house, so that doesn't look really that good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it's like a mini Titan. It's not really a Titan. It's like just a giant the size of a house. I'm gonna make everything a lot bigger here. So let's make it bigger. But I've scaled this now. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay. I'm gonna do it a little bit differently. I'm gonna group them and then I'm gonna scale it. Yeah, but I I, I don't wanna make a toy house, right? I wanna make a Does that look better? Not really. That's probably better. So I, I'm I'm just looking at right at the size of the house. So um, should it be bigger or not when you look at here right so this is like story one no story one no it should be bigger bigger is better it's too big I think it's fine just gonna make sure it's on the ground it's about um the building or your doors, uh, fifth sketches of uh, elements of your house. 
uh, doors, different windows, different chimneys, different doorknobs for all I care. So just about details about the house. So like a couple of them about the actual house itself. And then also a couple of about the actual like details that, that you want to do. So like do, do you want the door to be rounded or do you want to be square? Do you want a triangle? The the windows, right? Do you want to have like gothic windows or round windows or triangular windows or hexagon windows or so just it's just meant as uh, an, an experimentation. Uh, definitely 10 centimeter house is fine because right now my house is also only one two three four five five and a half meters wide because by default right every square here is one centimeter one centimeter by default there you go so just multiply that by 100 in your own head it's a little bit easier otherwise you're gonna go crazy probably <laughs> Is it too big? That's what she said, but besides that, is it too big? Don't think so. I think the size looks pretty okay, right? Or is it me? Maybe a little bit wider? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, okay, the human is tiny, because it's, it's, it's literally only one centimeter, 1.8 centimeters high, I think, so. It is tiny, I think this looks okay. <laughs> oh, cool! I like this. Yeah, this looks fine. Okay, I like it as well. Maybe I can add like a tower as well. So I'm just gonna, again, this is just a block out, right? The house, just a block out. I think that will look cool. Ooh. So what, what I'm thinking right now, it just the, there's a balcony here. Now this is the balcony. There's like a door here. Like a nice gate around it so this is like the end of the stairways it's meant to be <laughs> but there's a stairways here that you can it's hidden of course right it's on the inside and there's a, like this nice balcony here that you can walk on for the views i think that will look awesome um i need a chimney though but that's not really a good idea since it's a tree but i do need one so maybe i can make like a crooked one maybe it's like here maybe it just goes like that maybe not like that but uh, <laughs> on this oh yeah that's a good point actually why not on the side well, why not well I'm also looking at the balance right because I I, I, I I have something on this side already right so the chimney needs to be on this side then otherwise it's gonna be too much on it's gonna be on balance so there's a chimney here beautiful chimney uh, maybe there's gonna be like a well here. That's kind of cool. Wells are, are always tight, so let's do that as well. As well, it's always good. And maybe there's a window here. That's kind of cool. Yeah, porch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, ooh, like a round porch. That's even sexier. Oof. Look at my amazing drawing skills with the mouse. Look at it. That'd actually be kind of cool. I like that. I like that. Let's actually do this. Okay. So let's add the chimney. So it's going to be here. Ish. Chimney. Through the root. I kind of like that though. Maybe a little more here. So the tree doesn't catch fire because that would be kind of sad. And then we need a well here. Beautiful well. Uh, I am, yeah, because, because of the human, right? The, the human is 16,544. So don't count that one. <laughs> so don't count that one. So the leader right now, see, I'm still at only 4,324. So I can could, I could still really, really push this. That's okay. So I'm going to make my Porsche real fast. I'm going to use a cylinder for that. I like cylinders. Grab these. Delete. Half it should be gone. Porch, close enough. Maybe a little bit more here. Oh, that's okay. I mean, that doesn't really matter though. So now I get to the big questions. Where's the entrance? I kind of, kind of feel that the entrance should be here. And then we should have windows over here. So I'm gonna make a door here, 
I moved well. I kind of like if the door is here, so I'm going to do that actually. So I'm going to make a cube here so I can place it roughly somewhere. There we go. Door. Here. Check the size, of course, of the door. Can, can a human fit through it? He can't. Maybe a little bit too high, actually. A little too high. Door. Door. Beautiful door. Then I want to have windows here and like a roof here. I think that could work. So let's make a windows first, right? I want to go for like classic gothic windows, especially up top. Oh, let me just do this for a second. Grab these. Gonna group these as well. Trees. Hide them for a second so I can actually see what I'm doing. So I want to have like three windows here because I think that will look cool. I'm gonna start with a cylinder. I know that sounds probably really weird, but that's how I'm gonna start here. Just gonna grab it. Nah, probably this size. I'm gonna go for 12 sides here, more than enough. Vertex, I'm gonna grab all the faces and delete them. Besides the bottom row. I'm gonna grab them again. Oh. I'm gonna grab the edges of here, the bottom ones. Hold shift so you can actually extrude. Done. Window almost and bevel this, bridge this. There we go. Then I'm gonna grab my vertices here for a second, grab this one a little bit higher, this one higher. Gothic window, boom. It has some thickness though, but it's okay because I'm gonna do that next. I'm gonna extrude everything. Let's do point one. Yeah. That's one. For the attic, I suppose. Does he have an attic? I think he has an attic. He should have an attic. Okay. I need more of these, in my opinion. So let's look at the floor. Maybe we could have one here as well on the second floor. A little bit too big. Looking at the line right in between here, that's the second floor, so this should be okay. Let's also give him three windows here. I'm just eyeballing this though, I'm just guess, guesstimating how far it should be. Okay, and then maybe, looks kind of weird though. Just delete this, I don't need it. Maybe we can make like a hole there, we don't actually need that that much. And then in here we need, a big window in my opinion. Or two big windows. Let's hit oh, connect here. This is a cool trick as well, right? I mean, the lines right now are, are a bit like fucked up. But if you just scale it, just like this, it's, it's not perfectly straight. So this is how you make the line straight again. Just scale it down. And then you get perfectly straight lines. It's a weird thing to do, but it actually does real work really well. So I'm gonna extrude this, I'm gonna turn off, keep faces together so we have separate faces, and I'm just gonna offset this to the size of a window. Do I like it? Not at all. Let's scale this down. Mm -hmm. Close enough. I'm just going to delete these for now. They look really tiny down the window, so I'm going to make it a little bit higher. Compare again, like to the human, should be a little bit higher, I think. Maybe even more. That's better. <laughs> Wow, yeah, I, I should have seen that one coming, uh, Sean. <laughs> I should have seen that one coming. Good point. <laughs> okay, let's... Um, what else do we need? Okay, I, I need a roof. I'm going to make it separate. I'm going to just duplicate my house. Just, just control D it. 
and hide everything behind I'm gonna delete everything besides my two faces up top. And the rest I'm just gonna delete it. Poof, gone. Grab it, extrude it, level it out. Let's do this one. It's a little more straight uh, extrusion. Grab it. And, and boom. Because I kind of want to have this like this little bit like over overhang that, that, that it, it sticks out a little bit over the actual house. I kind of like that. So make it a little smaller here. I kind of like that. Okay. It still looks really basic, but we'll get there eventually. Uh, obviously. And I want to make the door super gothic as well. I want to turn that in, into the most gothic doorway you've ever seen in your entire life. There we go. Bigger. Got in He could fit. He can fit. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna delete these because we don't need them. Same thing here though, I can just grab these again, scale it down, straight. And let's push it in. This is my door. That's a cool door, let's just be honest here. That's that's a cool door. Maybe, ooh, ooh, I've got an idea. A little bit higher here. Let's turn this into a door as well. So you can have a balcony on this house. And let's do a round balcony even. Same thing, gonna start at my point here. Don't know how big it should be though. Okay, this looks really stupid. <laughs> I did not see that coming. <laughs> no, it just looks like a sad face. Just gonna duplicate this because this just looks too stupid. There you go. That looks a little bit better. Okay, I kind of like that. I'm gonna keep it. Delete all the faces that I don't need because we can't see them. There we go. Maybe a little bit more here. Grab the edges here, just gonna shoot it. That's kind of cool. So then we need to turn this into a door. So I'm just gonna delete it, gonna duplicate my door here. Minus 90. It's a big door though, or a big balcony. Hmm. See, this is the advantage of having a block out, right? So I can just. <laughs> I could just adjust it, right? Because I, does this work? Not really, right? I think he's, the house is, needs to be higher. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a shot here. I'm gonna raise the roof. No pun intended. Grab these and just lift it. And then I can grab my That makes more sense. Well, I can also make my windows a little bit higher as well. That makes a little bit more sense. In my opinion, at least. Okay, let's make the balcony a little of the chimney higher. Again, this is just block out, right? You don't really care about what it looks like. You, ju you just want to find the scale of everything and like how big does my door need to be? How big, how high should my house be? And etc. 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 So that, that's the main focus here right now. What if I duplicate these windows here? Just finding that sweet spot. Is this cool? 
Is that cool? Super gothic though, but no, let's keep it for now. I do kind of like it in a way. Yeah, okay, let's for now let's just keep it. I'm gonna unhide my trees. Where are, where are my trees? No. So good, still there. I was afraid I lost my trees here. Let's make sure it's on the ground. There we go. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I do like that interest to the side. I do like that. Okay, I'm gonna grab my door here again. Gonna place it in my tree. Oh, wrong button. This should probably be a little th thicker. So you can actually stand on it. That's cool though that there's like a balcony here. I like that actually. Maybe just maybe experiment a little bit. Nope, oh, this one. Just push it in here and then I'm gonna grab these. Extrude, I'm gonna push it in. Not like that. Like this. Gives us a little bit more space here to progress in the actual house. Can't delete these. Sea fighting is going on here. And like this black flickering right there just means that, that there's the sea fighting so there are two faces fighting for dominance like who gets to be shown on screen oh oh you have to always fix that always there are no reasons why you will ever keep that at any given time so always fix those issues when you can maybe if i make this That could work, I suppose. That can work. And then maybe we can add a window here ish. A little bit higher. Let's do it there. So that means that we need to have something here as well to actually you know, be able to stick it out. Uh, so it's actually support the building. Well, I do think that's pretty cool though. Let's keep it like this. Then we have our, I like that as well. Just gonna extend it a little bit. Like that. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, so let's actually add some, let's start to actually do some more detailing because right now, Looks very barren. Not weird that was that interesting. So there we go. Let's just find some quick Victorian houses like neo gothic. Neo gothic house. Just finding some reference real fast. It's mostly pointy roofs. Well oh, that's a good point actually. Lots of wood. Okay, I like that. Okay, that makes sense. So you you usually have like this thing here sticking out. That's actually okay. And in here you get like this usually like this really complex detail, uh, but it's nothing more than just cylinders and boxes that are being extruded to give it a little bit more like like that feel. Um, so this is pretty good. There's also also a lot of wood happening as well, or different like columns and 
shapes here that's actually kind of interesting Ooh, I do like that as well I'm gonna make it a little bit more different here I'm gonna um, move these out see that's the that's advantage of uh, yeah always work with references definitely uh, I'm gonna move it out a little bit and I'm gonna move this line here it's a little bit higher Oh, wrong one. Um, I'm gonna push it here, here, here. Let's do it here. I'm gonna extrude this. Boom. That's better. Then we can create like this nice arcway here as well. So you get a little more like detail here that we can and those are like super like neo gothic details with like the arches in there because uh, i think that will work really well maybe we are going to move the door though to here but we'll see right i mean we can we can still change everything but but we need to have some support some support here at some point let's do that right now so i'm gonna add an arcway here so i'm gonna make a cylinder again good old cylinders what would we do without them? A little bit lower. And I'm and I'm just I I'm just eyeballing this now, so keep that in mind. Grab these, control, yep, there we go. Delete half. A little bit longer, but not all the way. Extrude this or Ctrl E by the way is the shortcut for extruding, which is what I'm using all the time. It's a little bit faster because I, I like being efficient. Just gonna see if it's all roughly in the middle. It's not. Well, close enough. Okay, and then around here. I want to have like this wall again, so I'm going to duplicate this one again. I'm going to delete everything besides the outer edge here again. I'm going to control E this bad boy again. There we go. Then I want to use this and to turn this into a wall so I can grab the vertices here again. So I'm going to grab these again, skill, down skill. Same thing here, just push it down. See, then you make it straight. I'm going to grab these skill. This way, the other one, scale it that way, and it's perfectly straight. No point intended. Make it a little bit thicker. What I do like it. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Makes no sense, but then again, that is architecture at its core, right? Making no sense whatsoever. I do like it though. Maybe a little thicker here. And then we can have like pillars here, pillars here, for example. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a plane here that we're gonna turn into a pillar. Set five. Oh, I can't type apparently. Still can't type. Set point. Jesus. Thank you. Um, I'm gonna add more divisions here. Let's do. Reason why so we can do the same thing right with the uh, circularize method. I want to line up a little better here with my thingy here, make it a little bigger so that the walls can rest on those pillars like this. That's kind of cool. Oh wow, well, I've got a ladybug on my screen. That's annoying. Stupid things. Push up. So this is going to be the base. Grab it. Circularize. Hope oh, you probably first extrude this, offset this. Petit peu. Maybe less. There we go. And then we circularize this. And. Um, 
Why can't I see the... I'm so... Nope. Yep, that one. Uh, mine is 0 0.05. Yep. Then just gonna grab them. Roughly at the bottom, delete the faces because I can't see them anyway, so might as well delete them. Let's do the same thing here. And it's taking out here a little bit, right? I. Who cares? Right. I like it. I like it. Let's just duplicate these real fast. I'm gonna actually combine them. It's a little bit easier. So mesh combine turns them into one mesh. And let's duplicate these bad boys other side. That's okay. What if though? I rotate this 90 degrees. And I put it here as well. But then you have a window in front of a window. However, that looks awesome though. So I'm gonna do that, fuck it. I'm gonna delete these though, cause we, that would be kinda weird, so I'm gonna line a little bit better. Like that. Does that make sense? Not really, so I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna make it bigger. Uh huh. I'm just eyeballing now if it's actually straight or not. I just think that this is okay. Delete that one. Since I changed this one. I do like it though that way. So I'm gonna duplicate this. Need to flip it. I think that's set. Yep. There we go. And then I was I was kind of hoping that I could place another one here in the middle, but I really cannot. Unless can I? No, I cannot. That's too bad. Let's just combine these two together so I can actually bridge that gap in between. So I'm gonna grab my faces here. Edit mesh bridge done. And then maybe. We can grab these and done. Ooh, and these. Done. Okay, I do like that though. That's pretty sexy. And then we can add some detail here in the middle, right? That'll be kinda cool as well. So if I delete my human now, how many triangles do I have? Only six thousand two hundred and Eight, so I can still do nine thousand triangles for the assignment, which is kind of cool. I like that. Um, yeah, let's do the next step. Step. So my balcony needs support, right? It just can't stay up there on its own. So I'm going to use a sphere for this. I'm going to like find the connection here between our balcony and the wall, like roughly around here. Grab it. This is fine. That is fine, I'm gonna move to the top view here so I can line it with my balcony a little bit better. If I can find my balcony, I think this is my balcony. Yep, yeah, it is. Okay. Then I'm just gonna use a quarter of my sphere here for support. Maybe I can make it a little bit smaller. Okay, I'm gonna grab it. I don't need that side at all. I can delete this side, this side. Oh, and that leaves us with just a support thingy here for my balcony. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. That works. Awesome. Okay, I like that. I like that. I like that. So let's add more windows because we need windows. I'm gonna rotate that one 90 degree on Y. And let's do it 
here because you need light in your bedroom and here and then we can be lazy then we can combine these mesh combine again and duplicate it on scale y so it's exactly the same let's move it to the other side so we are making it symmetrical except for my fucking chimney so i'm gonna move my chimney in the middle there we go <laughs> you have a horrible view though if, if you actually live there yeah 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 <laughs> yeah that's a good point about like an actual like um railing that that's gonna happen of course aren't you looking at this poor person who's sleeping here because she had the worst view ever you're either looking at a tree or at your chimney so maybe we can be nice to the person and give him a little bit more like an actual bedroom make it a little more see there we go you're welcome doesn't make sense but sure okay so that looks fine maybe do we at least have something here do we want to have a window in our tower no not for another moment no okay let's start fixing some stuff here because my are still gaps my windows here are still gaps so i need to add more stuff here so i'm gonna add a wireframe here <laughs> exactly like, oh look at the chimney and like oh hey i mean imagine that that you're taking home someone uh for a night and then in the, the first thing in the morning they see oh that's a, that's a beautiful chimney man wow it's a beautiful chimney that'll be weird that will also be a good sign that you probably, not, probably should not be dating that person but same thing here again just scale down there we go okay let's have a look we need to fix this here so let's do this then i'm gonna scale it down like that so i'm just looking right that this line doesn't cross my window frame because that that means that it is visible right so i want to find a sweet spot here in between there we go and it don't have to be the same because it doesn't really matter at all but you just want to prevent that you can see a wall through your window frame because that will look kind of weird so so let's find the other one this one and that one there we go same thing wireframe mode that bad boy i'm just gonna push it down and down oh my window should be a little bit more to the right there we go just a quick way of making sure that you can't see the wall through the window see and it doesn't matter right if they don't perfectly connect you no one can tell ever literally no one can tell cool let's make some holes in our building except for my door this one i'm just gonna keep it the way it is because i'm gonna add an actual door right so that will be hiding everything else so why then we don't need it but in this case though since there's gonna be like a window here i'm gonna add the holes in there so i'm gonna go here let's let line it up a little better should be on that line there uh, come on jesus christ okay let's add some more stuff so i'm gonna add again what connects i can't so that happens why can't i add that line there oh because i have an angle on i i got an angle on what just happened yeah okay that's annoying that it actually didn't finish that line okay can i do this no i cannot oof i've got vertices like random vertices here oh yeah that makes sense okay and then that one and that one see fixed <laughs> cake there we go let's try this again so i'm gonna add more lines here now we can thank you 
And we're probably gonna need a lot more though, so I'm gonna add one here in between. I'm gonna again gonna scale it down. And I'm gonna end it here on the line of this of the window that starts here, right? So that's gonna be my ending point for this. I'm gonna need another one over here. So we can end our loop maybe like this, for example. There we go. And then I'm gonna need one more down the middle. And one more down the middle. And again, and, it's, and at some point we can actually like clean it up, but for now it's okay. So then I'm gonna use the multicut tool. So apparently Ctrl Shift X, it is. I'm just gonna cut here, uh, here, and here. And I don't care at the moment about like the angles and stuff. I just want to click on the outline here, there, there, and close it. There you go. There we go, let's see if the faces are actually correct. So I'm going to delete this. I'm going to have a quick look at this. So it's just a check right to see if I actually did it right. I did, so now we're going to clean up the mesh. So there's a triangle there. I'm going to make a cut there. And one there. See, this is just a quad, that's a quad. Same thing here, I'm going to push it down. Boom. Squeaky clean. Check the mesh, hit the on the keyboard, that's okay. Done, next one. So you can also do this by just grabbing the faces here. And then again, hitting uh, the offset. Works almost the same here, I'm gonna use 0.1. It's actually the same method. Maybe a little bit less work, but whatever rocks your boat. This one. And delete the faces. Holes. Beautiful holes in my house. So what we're gonna do right at some point when we actually start texturing, we're just gonna add a plane there that we can use to make black to make it uh, pretend that there's an actual window there. That looks pretty okay. Then we do the same thing here on this side. Maybe if we're lucky. We can turn on symmetry, Let's see if we, if we are lucky. We are definitely not lucky, that's too bad. No. No. Maybe. Oh. I was kind of hoping we were lucky, but apparently we're not. We are not, that's okay. Maybe we could do it based on topology. Oof. Let's try this again. Oh, there we go. Nice. See, I'm rather lazy than anything else. So let's do this. Let's connect. Oh, yeah, you can't, of course, do this way. So by making it, it's, it's symmetrical, we could just do one side. That makes it a little bit easier. I'm gonna, first, I'm gonna add the kind of lines here, gonna connect them. Same thing as we did before. Just move it. I think we already have enough here. Yeah, we do. Okay. Same thing. I'm going to turn on topology here. And then you have to um, select the middle edges here. I'm going to grab this one. That's going to be perfectly symmetrical. I'm going to activate the offset again. 0.2. Yeah, that's good enough. Doesn't really matter. And again, same thing here. Just grab it. Grab them by the vertex. Horrible pun on a Friday night. But such is life. Delete the faces. Don't forget to save. Boom, see it's at the same time. That's called efficiency. I love it. Let's turn it off for a second. So we can add the lines here. So you, you can't add like edge loops that go all, all the way around when you're in, in symmetry mode. Don't know why, but it's okay. Same thing here, I'm gonna add one here. Roughly down the middle. Then I kinda need one here as well, otherwise we're gonna have like a super big face here, I don't want it, so. One more here, one more there. And then we can do the same thing. Let's turn this on again. And then at some point, of course, we're gonna op optimize this, but today is not that day. Set. 
and the whole point of the offset is creating these vertices so I can actually move it around so I can actually follow the shape of my window that I made. And that's the point of creating those vertices or the offset function. So I can do this, so I can make the whole. Muy bien, muy bien. I like it, I like it. I'm gonna leave my well though, because that looks just stupid. Thank you, delete. Not bad. I'm, just, I'm getting an elfish look, elfish feel though. I don't know why, but I'm getting an elfish feel. So let's add some small details in there, like smaller details. So what you often see is that in, like in the facade, you got this really nice wooden, um, complex stuff going on. I don't know how to, how to describe it, like a pattern. So I'm gonna do the same here. So I'm first I'm gonna make a little bit more um, neo-gothic-y. That makes sense. I'll grab my outer faces here. I'm gonna extrude them a little bit. And I'm gonna just move up a little bit. So I get a little bit of a curve. So you get a little bit of like a gentle curve there. I can do the same thing here. So I'm gonna grab my edge here. I'm gonna actually gonna duplicate this. Oh, sorry, I bevel this segments. A little bit smaller. Get a little bit more like a friendlier. I would say if you want, you can grab this one here, for example, and just push it up. Get a little bit more of a pointy, pointy roof. Uh, do we like it? Hmm. So then you get like in front of it, you get a lot of like, wow, one second. Oh, let's just hide this for a second. There we go. So in, in front of you, you got a lot of visual bullshit. That's pretty much the only way how to, how to describe it. Uh, so you get like this like wooden detail, like one of these, for example, like this. Let's make it a little bit more, less thick. A little bit more thin like that that's kind of cool so i'm gonna grab it again i'm just gonna duplicate this i'm gonna rotate this like 45 degrees here and it's probably on x yep. there we go make it a little bit more thin on all axes just gonna drag it and i don't care that it's actually sticking out right now i just don't really care about it I can fix that later on, so I'm just gonna invert this. I just wanna get a nice, trying to even space this, but <laughs> that's impossible. Oh, it's not bad, it's not bad. Okay, and then we want, of course, we, will, we want more. So maybe we can do a horizontal beam here, so I can duplicate this again, 90 degrees. Let's uh, have it here. Wider. Let's make one a little thicker here. So, what I I personally don't like is if you have like the beams that are exactly the same size. That looks weird, right? It doesn't work in real life as well. So I just give a little more thickness here, so that then you actually get the illusion that this beam is like resting on the other one. If that makes sense. Let's make it a little bit less high. That's cool. Maybe we can do the same trick here again. So I'm gonna use a cylinder. Just gonna create it. I kinda of wanna get like like a half circle in here. Because that for some reason always looks good. Okay, that looks okay. Delete. I'm gonna only wanna have a one quarter of the cylinder left. I'm gonna extrude this again. Point one. Oh. Just kind of move it a little bit. Bullshit detail, but it does look good though. Let's be honest. Yep, I'm gonna duplicate this again. Skill minus one. Let's 
see if I can space this out evenly. It's close enough. Cool. Maybe we can do one more. Maybe we can also use this one again. And have it. No. Here? Does that make sense? Not bad, to be honest. A little bit of a gamble here, but I do not mind it. Actually. Again, let's see if we can oh, oh. align this. There we go. Hmm. Maybe we can use this one again as well. Just duplicate this. Rotate 180 degrees. Something like this. Maybe a little th thicker. There we go. A freeze transformation so I can just duplicate this and mirror this bad boy. There we go. See, it's just bullshit detail, but it does look amazing though. So. There we go. So let's fix these here. I'm gonna make it a little bit more less sticking out. Oh yeah, oh definitely, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We are definitely uh, definitely gonna do that. I'm just curious to see how many triangles I have left. How many do I have left? <coughs> Fuck it. Let's 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 go nuts here because we can easily do this, easily. I can a first delete these right as I don't need them because you can't see them anyway. Then I'm gonna grab my edges here, I'm gonna bevel everything. That's nice already. Same thing here, right? I don't think this one actually has one does have faces. What you can't see, you delete. Golden rule of 3D modeling. I only wanna have these lines here. I don't even want to, no, back lines because you can't see them. There we go. That one. That one. Oh. Too fast. Uh, maybe a little bigger. Point three. Yep. That's better. That is cool though. Delete these as well. Point three here as well. There we go. It's a little bit of work, but then again, that's okay. Because it's not as as anyone here has an actual life at this stage, right? Since we're all stuck at home, so might as well make life interesting. See, that's weird, right? Let's see, I think that's caused by the freezers. Oof. Definitely. Yep. Almost done.
See, this is, the, this is the most fun part and the most boring part at the same time. Same thing here, right? So this is cars because this is uh, mirrored on the Y axis X was on the Z axis. So what we need to do is we need first few transformations. That's gonna flip the normals, and then we need to again reverse them, and then it's okay. And then when you bevel them, it's fine. It's a little bit weird. It's a little bit annoying, but that's okay. With this one, the big one. Ooh, I don't want I'm gonna keep that one for now. So I've got an idea. Bevel this, let's do. I'll grab this maybe. No, 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 no. Stupid idea. Delete. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, we're getting there. We are getting there. Still not perfect though, but still 7,400. It's absolutely nothing. It's absolutely nothing. So what I'm thinking here is that I can also bevel these. Yeah, let's bevel this. That will make it look even better. See, it should make it look better. Uh, but and we're only halfway there for, uh, to our actual. Uh, I think this is a separate object, right? It is. Should probably delete these faces. Delete. Since we can't see them, since they're inside the other object here, I should probably delete them. Same thing here. Delete. Again, it's about being efficient. Very important. Mm -hmm. Same thing here. The way, this, the way I did this might not have been the best way in hindsight, but then again, in hindsight, everything is easy. And boring. So the so the thing I'm doing right is, is I'm just grabbing the faces here and then I'm just I'm pressing Shift I to isolate those. Isolate that selection. That's the only thing I'm doing here. Nothing more. In case you were wondering. Same thing here. It's causing issues. Is it mirrors? Yeah, it's mirrors. Face transformation, it's gonna flip, reverse normals, and do it again. That's gonna be fixed. Two five. Ah, eh, we're getting there. We are getting there. I mean, I kind of, I, I, I kind of need more branches here. Way more branches here, because right now it just looks a little bit flat. The tree. Um, but you get the idea how to actually make it in this whole point. The last thing I kind of want to do though is like here. I've got a very big empty space here, right? This part here is very empty, there's nothing actually happening there. So I'm just gonna be super cheeky. I'm just gonna grab this, gonna offset this, and I'm just gonna <laughs> extrude this inwards a little bit. See, and now it, it, it looks interesting. Super simple trick. It does help. So what, what you kind of want to avoid is having really big spaces, big planes with nothing happening, because uh, that will look boring. In this case, just adding a plane here, like an extruded plane that I can use then for an interesting texture, and it looks way better. Of course, we need a, a thing here as well, like a railing, but we can do it next time. That's our house, I'm just checking everything. 
Let's delete all by type history and let's clean up the scene a little bit. To prevent a mess. That's that one. Okay. I'm gonna grab all my windows here. I'm just gonna combine them. So I'm gonna organize it a little bit. What I'm actually doing. Combine. Let's call this I don't know. Upper windows. What is this? P cylinder. I'll combine this as well. Mesh combine. Uh, um, facade stuff. Don't know what else to call this. Roof. So uh, it is helpful to actually name your stuff. Uh, so I, so you know what what you're actually doing. So this is my tower. And obviously, like, okay, what what can I actually combine? Right, like I could probably combine all my doors and all my windows into single mesh. I'm just gonna do that just now. That's better. See, now my list here becomes a little bit less, a little bit clean. <laughs> Which is why I'm doing this now, right? Uh, but especially right when, when you like concept modeling, if, if that's a thing, you don't want to be held back by naming stuff. So, but at some point you have to, you have to clean it up though. You really have to clean it up. Otherwise it just, it just becomes such a mess. You're like, what am I doing? I'm going to leave these though, because I'm going to combine them next time. So I can actually merge them together next time. I'm not going to do it now, because that will take me like 15 minutes alone. So I'm going to combine these two as well. Three windows. This is my what's it called? Garden thingy. Porch. Is this a porch? Or is this like a um a frustering uh, fence? I'm just gonna call it fence. Fence. Beautiful. This is my chimney. Okay, so I'm gonna leave these though because I'm gonna, gonna to combine them and then uh, merge them together. Yeah, I got, yeah, exactly. That would be cool if you actually had a garden gate here as well. But so many cool ideas. Oh, that would be awesome actually. Like a really nice gothic gate. So many good ideas. Okay, let's check the human again one more time before we call it a day. The scale looks pretty good. Let's go here. Can you go for this door as well? You can actually stand on this. Not the safest balcony ever. Exactly. <laughs> the poly I know what the poly budget. This is not the safest balcony ever made by human kind ever, but it does support him probably. But still, I still only have 6,200 to go. So I, I can do this with my budget. I still have 6,000 triangles to go. So I can add a lot more detail. But I also want to add a bit more detail in the tree at some point, but we'll have a look next time. So um, next week, same next week. Yeah, why not right N next week? Let, let's do it. Let's do this again next week. Same time. Um, but now I'm, I'm going to get a beer if you don't mind. <laughs> I'm thirsty. So um, thank you very much for uh, joining us, joining me this evening. Uh, thank you for your time. And, uh, and I hope you enjoyed your stay here. And then uh, I will see, it, uh, see you again next time, hopefully next week, same place, same time. Thanks for being here and stay, stay awesome. Ciao.